Hey folks, welcome back. Kind of caught me a little early. <laughs> I was kind of going to go with the uh, whole, oh hi, I didn't see you there uh, act, but that might even be too corny for me, which is impressive. Really, I just wanted to take a little time before hopping straight back into it and say, thanks for coming out. I have done this continuously with a minor interruption thanks to YouTube and or bad internet uh, every day for over a month now. And that's, that's a big deal. I'm glad to have been able to stick with it. And I'm... Hello, officer. What brings you up here again? And I'm glad some of you came with me for the ride. Okay, so I've got a little bit there. I've got none there. Uh, t -t 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 but I know I have more drama. Question is, how high does it take me? I think those things are it. But three points is a significant Hello, leap. Officer, what brings you up here again? All right, in God's name, wake up! Who? What? Dear God, you've been lied to. She could have killed her lover and lied to everyone. She's not candid at all. She's smoke and mirrors and will-o'-wisps. She probably didn't even give you a real name either. Why would she? Arrest her immediately! Before she further entangles you into her web of lies. Kim, why have we not arrested her yet? There may be grounds here, at least for an extended detention. A little whimper. She hears you. She's looking around. Your real name isn't that. Isn't Glacia Amanda. I agree. You wouldn't give us your real name. Not when people are after you. Okay. Her voice cracks suddenly, like there's a garrote around her neck. Okay, what? Okay. It's not. Good. You can tell me the truth. You log your work every week. It's all transmitted to common, sir. I couldn't just beg you not to enter my name. So I lied. Like I lied before. Like I lied at LCSB. I have to lie all the time. She looks at her hands. Her fingernails are chipped white. I'm so tired of it. Was the passport bullshit too? No, it's... it's Submerged in a plastic buoy on the coast in the reeds. It just doesn't say Classia Amando. It says Anuk May... Meyer... Smith? Meyer Smith? Messerschmitt? Meyer Smith. Meyer Smith. There we go. Falsified documents. Passport and visa. <laughs> Given to me by my last employer. I can't even use them. My employer probably leaked the name Meyer Smith to hurt me. Why would they do that? I didn't show up to a rendezvous. They don't take that lightly. Now, I, I didn't show up because I was afraid they'd, they'd do something to me. She rushes to explain. The job was finished. I'm just a liability now. Where is the buoy? West of the boardwalk? In the reeds on the coast? She points towards a clump of ruins on the western horizon. I put it there when I first arrived. <laughs> Haven't been there since. I'm not even sure I could even find it now. It's useless. West of the boardwalk? All right, we'll take a look. Kim makes a note. You're welcome to it. It's in the reeds northwest of here, past a broken sewage pipe, right near the waterline. <laughs> You're probably not even Mr. Ranier 37, are you? <laughs> I am. Um, her smile quivers. 
They can never take my sash and scepter from me. Yes, they can for lying! <laughs> Killing mercenaries, Klausia? No, Harry. Telling lies! Well, we did say... Uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, will you tell me your real name? It's... Katarzyna Alassie. The smile on her face is timid. Almost painfully so. It's a grad name. Zem... Zemsk or Yugograd in origin, not Occidental at all. Smells of motor oil, taiga, economic desolation, and rock music-infused alcoholism. Hold on, that's not even an Oranye name. Or Mundi, that's Grad. My parents were uh, Zem Zemsk. I, that is such an awkward-to-pronounce word. I'm going to trip over it every time. Zemsk immigrants, but I'm nationalized. Aranyes. All I remember is Aranye. Alassie is my father's name. Hmm. Of course. She doesn't look like an Aranye's woman at all. She's... But no, didn't... Didn't one of these skills already say? Oh yeah, no, the birthmarks totally line up with that. I don't know. Say nothing. She nods nervously. I should have guessed you don't look... <laughs> I've always had that going for me. Oranye's woman, women don't win beauty pageants at 14. Oh yeah, that industry. Let's, let's not delve into that. Say nothing. Proceed. I haven't said it aloud in such a long time. That name. She shakes her head. She nods, her back straight again, ready for whatever's next. Did you even make that call to the station? I don't, th I'm not, I'm less certain that you did. <laughs> I did call. She takes a step forward. What is this? I called your desk or whatever it is. The numbers are all over town. Call 8102 for emergencies. There was an older woman on the other end. It sounded like she was smoking. She took my complaint. She coughed. That is the emergency's desk number. Anyone could know that by looking around and calling the desk. I don't know that I believe it. What time did you make the call? Thursday night. It was late. Sometime after 12. Hmm. He checks out. Say nothing. Let's change the subject for the time being. She slowly lights another cigarette, slowly, slowly, and steadies her breath, as if in the presence of some tiger. You are. This is not the end of this. I love this line. Let's get back to those lies you told. Lies, I... <laughs> she repeats, then trails off. It's unclear what she intended to say. Yes, we demand she be punished for deceiving us. We demand her anxiety. We demand her fear. That's a little uncomfortable there, Drama. Let's, uh, let's not address that directly. I was just thinking, what a nice day for questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Wait, I don't get the volition check anymore? Did they go to the same thing? That's kind of a bummer. Sorry, I, I am actually going to take a second and come back after a brief bit of research. I find it important enough to do so. I'm doing this so it can be kind of seen on the record. Interestingly enough, I have taken the drama route here before. But not necessarily 
gone the volition way. And I want to play that one out because I have enough of an idea of how it happens that I want to see it and get to, to voice it firsthand. <laughs> uh, all in the name of a better show and experience. I hope that's okay with you folks. It also means that we're going to have to do some things before we come back. Oh, no, don't. Don't do that yet. We have things. Now, I am fairly certain that we have Vizcalc here. All right. Because I'm certain this is going to be a Vizcalc check now that we know it was broken. Oh, maybe I didn't even need to do that. Hey, what happened here? The golden light melts away into the blue, glassy darkness of your mind. In it are two neon shapes. A man and a woman on the single bed. That's a, such an unfortunate picture. Uh, what position are they in? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling, the woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th, and a shot has just been fired. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth, a ray cast from somewhere outside entering his brain. Ending him. Where does it come from? From the roof outside, location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Inspect them. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than that realization. All right, let's look at the roof. The ray cast from the man's mouth unravels into a fan of possible directions, all on the roof at first. The shot could have come from any of them. This is composite location A prime, most likely of the origin points. Yeah, but shouldn't there be gun residue outside? There could have been. Then the rain and slush and wind wash it away. This was more than a week ago. So I'm what, 80% sure that came from the roof? 72. With a weapon that's good for medium range, like a rifle or sports pistol. This is a good short distance, but not too short. The perpetrator aimed with their back against the railing, or possibly kneeling for precision. This would explain why it only took them one shot. The lights were on in here. Outside, it was dark. It was like shooting fish in an aquarium. A well-lit aquarium. The victim opened his mouth to let the bullet in. Neither one of them would have seen anything outside, in the darkness. Too busy with their own bodies. Could it have come from inside the room? A closer point? Point X would contradict the woman's testimony, rendering the entire proposition void. These figures would be wiped out, detective. Are there any arguments against A prime? None that you've found thus far. But that doesn't mean there aren't any. Well, okay, Klausia is a very unreliable narrator, but she also told us that she didn't hear a gunshot. And we are basing this whole scene preparation, as it were, on what she is telling us. So while, yes, that is a failsafe and the, a, the immediate weak point, the first point of failure, we kind of have to accept that if we are to do anything else with this information. Yes, it may bias us a little bit in the future, but we need to presume that she is telling the truth while doing this analysis. Could there have been another point of origin further away? That's a 28% yes. In this model, the shot could have come from a greater distance. Nothing excludes the possibility. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin in Martinet? Yes. You would need a map for that. A map of Martinet. Hey, where do I get a map of Martinet, Kim? The bookstore. They have maps. The lieutenant leans closer. You're thinking, what if the shot didn't come from the roof, right? Yes. Good. We should come back with the map and compare the landscape to the radius of the shot. We absolutely should. And try not to get too distracted in the bookstore while we're there.
Actually, we're going to take a brief jaunt away. Hey, can I tell you anything new yet? Again, I can't believe this shit. Yeah, me either. I don't I don't know enough to say either of those things. It's you again. What is it? Titus, I talked to Klausia. Now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? He leans back and regards you with curiosity. I'm going to level with you. She is the next link in the chain that leads me to Lily's killer. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not going to throw her under your moral intern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fact. He throws a glance at Titus as the last syllable leaves his lips. The big guy sighs. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. Look, I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R&R &R here. Think you could fuck off now? I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Uh, you just might. Where'd the other ones go? I don't think anything else adds logic. Kim, please don't look. I am trying not to, Detective. In the worst way. Yes? Yep. It's you again. What is it? A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its eerie blaze. Floor pan... Floor pans. Woo! Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion. All channeled into a single thought. A massive activity spike in the amygdala copicum. A part cops use to pin murders on people. Hey, Titus, why are you so sure Ruby didn't off him? Because she was here with us. All night. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's cop 101. She was here all night. The lieutenant ignores the tattooed men. 11.30 to 12.25 a.m. She was here during all that time. Yeah, with us, drinking. Near the stage there. She didn't go to the toilet? No. In the whole 45 minute window. She was with you the whole time. Uh, Alright, she took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment. Maybe went out, too. She has an operation to run from her lorry. <clears throat> We're not getting into what that operation is again, cop. He points out to the intersection. And just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. He taps on his temple. I've been through this. It just ain't plausible. But he's been through it. That means he suspected her too. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for, for some time during that window. That was crucial. Now let's place her on the roof. You know, you do agree that the shot came from the roof, right? Why not? You can't just draw a straight line into Clausia's window from any of the surrounding buildings, not from what I know about Martinet. Maybe from the coast, but 
Like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. Yeah, there's a 72% chance that the bullet came from the roof. 72%. Hmm. <laughs> That's a percentage and all. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab? No, I analyzed it on the spot. No, you can't. I know what you did here in the weekend. People talk. And what they say don't sound like a science cop. You're a madman. Yeah, those numbers were an ass pool, man. Yeah, and they don't put her on the roof either. It's just mumbo jumbo. He hasn't got shit. No, but there is a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. How? He looks sincerely curious. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball workshop. Hmm. People say there was a pinball arcade here sometime before the hostel. Hey, Theo, what was it called? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <clears throat> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay, but <clears throat> how'd she get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, for that matter. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumbwaiter used for moving pinball machines down and up to and from the workshop. Yeah. It's true, Kim. Thank you. The lieutenant is glad he got the floor plan right there. Don't try to figure out the building, my friends. The geometry is cursed. From there, the door just leads straight out to the roof. You can just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down, all in under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. Hmm. We gotta have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. Angus, you are not going to fit in that elevator. <laughs> it's a dumb way to not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Shush now. <clears throat> you got something else to back this route up, or is that it? Look, have we firmly established that she could have gotten up there? Firmly? Firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That is what we've established. But a root does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that. And Ruby don't carry one. Phase two. Murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not then, then at least a shadow of a doubt. In the shape of a gun. Look, there are weapons like this lying around all over Martinet. That looks antique. A Bell Margrave. Oh, there is no R there. Ma a bell magrav. Hmm. But it's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop. It was hidden there with a bunch just like it. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles tied us. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches, too. God oh, damn, we need to close that dump down for good. All right. I see your point. There are guns lying around. Ugh, damn it. I thought we'd found all those old spots. Why was that still there? We just missed one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. And we've already established she's running drugs. Why couldn't she be smuggling dump, dr uh, guns? God damn it, that's just about your favorite topic, isn't it, huh? Every fucking five seconds. Look, Titus, I've seen her operation. I saw the inside of her cabin. There's no way she would have any trouble getting a gun. <laughs> trouble? This is Revachol. Even the roid heads in the gym had a carbine. Nobody has trouble getting a gun. I still never saw her carry one. He's angry because he knows you're right. What he's saying only confirms your theory. He didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. We don't need to say these other things. That can, That's a minus. That's a detractor. And we are, still don't need to talk about that, especially while that gun is in our pocket. All right, cops. Keep on talking. I'll tell you when I've had enough. T, we're not seriously considering, are we? He almost gets up. Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three, motive, the last component. Look, it's not why did she kill him. It's why did she organize the cover-up. 
But I suppose you have a theory on that, lawman? Why wouldn't she have been covering up for herself, Titus? Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging? You went along, but she suggested it. And Shanky squints, eyes beady. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Classy just wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd been first. Uh. Alright, Eugene, let's assume you killed him. Huh. <laughs> Think. You kill him. Get him up there. Shoot him. Get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? He's silent. If she used us to cover her own shit up, <laughs> that's a serious violation of the haughty code, boss. Which is why she didn't. She would never do that. The blonde man waves his beer around. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn. I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, he never ruled her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Titus, you have to see it. I'm not going to say either of those other two things. Things don't add up. We need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. <laughs> the old man Theo in the corner just nods. A very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. Yeah, I see it. He puts his beer down. That's one more thing I've been wondering about. Ever since you asked me where she is, add it to your list of suspicions if you want to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where she went. She just up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. Didn't matter how hard I asked. Want to know why, Copper? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would have. He looks you straight in the eye as he says it. She knew there was evidence on her. And she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Ah, uh, maybe. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy. She made sure of that. Uh, I'm going to interrupt for just a second and say, what was she doing with Ulan frequencies? The what now? I got no idea about that. Boys? She said she's building a... a pale emitter. What? We were talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing new land frequencies and a... <coughs> and a pale something. I don't know anymore. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. Well, there you have it. Pale something. Titus puts an end to it. When did she leave? Friday afternoon. When you first arrived, I got word the RCM was in town. Well, then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you. You. Me? As in the RCM? No. You. As in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Yeah, just go with it. She probably knew me from my singing days. <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. She weren't laughing, though. He looks at you. You know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or using from her own supply, but... <laughs> now I'm not so sure. We'll come back to that. Do you have any clues on where she went? Ah, uh, she's not far. We know that much. She didn't take the lorry, so she's on foot. No truck. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Al. And we won't either. She's not really a, a 
haughty candidate anymore, is she? Nah, she's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her more precisely? More precisely? On the coast. Past the water lock. She's not here. So I'm thinking she's there. Who's doing this looking? They're all here. I could say no, but I want him to say it out loud. Who is out looking? Eh, Lizzie needed some sh air. So she didn't go to tell Everard. <laughs> no one goes to tell Everard anything. He knows what he has to know. Fast. Hmm. It's called a radio, you might believe. <laughs> the gardener may have played you again when she stormed out. She has her own plan. Can you tell me where on the coast I might look? Sure. There are some shit houses out there, cinder block town. The fisher folk refuse to unionize, or unionize, so that's one place we haven't looked. Titus. Titus, it's not unionize, it's deionize. Look, I'm just trying to make a pun here, all right? Jeez. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair is red. Dyed. She looks like a loryman. Now we'll come back. What else did she tell you about me? Hmm. <laughs> she said you have a funny taste in clothes, copper. And that you won't stop. What do you mean? Until you have something on her. She says she's heard of you from Jamrock. That you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. And you open them up. Just pop them open like cans. Fucking hell. Titus, did, did he just open Angus up like a can? Yeah, he did. Now we can whine about it, whack him, or we go on with our lives. I'm having a go-on-with-our-lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Silence. He nods. Kim? Is that true? Am I a can opener? You are very insistent. He nods. Anything else? There was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus, this cop, he... He... But she was too scared. Scared? You should be too. A strange fear creeps over you. A metallic taste in your mouth. Change the subject! Alright, it's not much. But it'll do. It'll have to. And he puts his hand out. Shake it. His grip is firm and reassuring. Like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Not just granite. Tightly packed RCM sergeant material. Maybe you should be a cop, Titus. <laughs> when are you going to get it through your dumb head? I already am. I just wasn't sure you were. And he still isn't. People aren't afraid of good cops in the way Ruby was afraid of you, he thinks. Then turns back to his men. We are doing a lot better on the mental checks, uh, mental and personality checks that I. Tornado is back. Huh. What do you want? On the mental and personality checks than I ever expected to, uh, this early. Oh! All right. We'll do it. Hey, what about this hat? <laughs> You can keep it. I don't mind. I can appreciate beauty when I see it. Oh, jeez. Um, thanks. It's like carrying you with me at all times. <laughs> Is it now? Well, enjoy it, Gendarme. Kim has to be laughing his behind off at us about that. Oh, right, I'm clicking on the hat itself, not on the, the inventory version of the hat. Hey, what about your robe? Ha! Huh, you can keep it. <laughs> I don't mind. 
I can appreciate beauty when I see it. You know, that's the first time I think you've ever said that to me. Really? No. I wasn't really planning on giving it back anyway. <laughs> How cunning. He raises his brows and you're not sure whether he's mocking you or not. I like men who take what they want. Woo! I took it to blend in. I'm undercover, see? <laughs> blend in where? A carnival. What if I'm wearing both? All right. Detective, this is unbecoming. Please keep your crushes to yourself. Excuse me, Kim? I believe you hurt me. Bop a dop a dop, Inspector Disco. Bop a dop a dop a ba. All right, so now we have enough suspicion to say this. Again, I can't believe this shit. Okay, so the, you know, we're just gonna go down the line. Okay, so the person who was shot and then made to look like he was hanged, he might have been shot by the people who hanged him. I get it, okay. But what is the motive? To cover something up? That would be my first guess, yes. It's very possible. Hey, why am I telling you these things? I don't know. Why are you? Okay, so the guy who was shot and hanged, he may have been shot by the person who made it look like he was hanged. A cover-up? Where the author of the cover-up is also the per? <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, but where's the motive? You don't have a motive? Then the double cover-up seems too neat. Yeah, you're right. So the person who we think shot him, who made it look like he was hanged, that we're looking for, we can't find her. Well... Where have you looked for her? Well, we, she, we, th we think she might be on the coast. <laughs> West of here? Good luck. The place is ruined from the bombardment. A lot of places to hide there. Look, dude. Again, I can't believe this shit. Can I, I not have anything? <laughs> My hard work is playing off. Oh, yes, it you are. And you've worked really, really hard, haven't you? John, he's obviously suffering. <sighs> I, I, I knew it, Kim. I knew I was a superstar. I fear you are misinterpreting the situation, detective. Yes? What is it? Can you not call her that? That's rude. Um... I just wanna... I wanna greet my people! I... I... <laughs> fine. Fine, okay? It's fine. Wait, does that possibly give us any more on that volition check? Because if it does, I want to do it. You know, like some Mountain Dew. Note to self, next time I play this, just bring the water pitcher with me. I might as well. Oh, yeah, we could have just gone and gotten the map first. Two birds. One stoned cop. Stone? I thought I had taken all your things from you. Yes, all of them, Kim. Thank you very much for that fact. Even the things you shouldn't have known that I had. Hello, officer. What brings you up here again? That's still awfully low. But I have a lot of points just hanging out. She looks back. Time moves slowly. The triangles of her face rearranging into a wary smile. Mm, don't worry. We'll protect you from your beauty. We will consult you through the reefs and sounds of her persona. 
Oh, we will see you through deceits. You are shielded. You are wise. That's a... Why would they be such low checks? You are advised. There are muscles on long white bones that line her limbs just below the silver jump shoot. Jump shoot. Woo! Jump suit. What? What's happening? Nothing. Nothing. Just time passing. Don't worry. Anything out of the ordinary and you would be notified. Air moves in your windpipe. Your heart beats. You're a detective. Get back to detecting. Am I being beguiled? She presses her elbows against her waist and slowly turns her head. Her hair brushes her shoulders, making a small hissing sound, almost imperceptible. Avert your eyes. The strange moment ends. It was brief, no longer than 2.2 seconds. Now, here is where having some pure holodon would be handy, because when you up your capacity through a drug, Wait, didn't I start with 2244 four, and I am not on anything right now? Is that permanent point from Boyadero essentially... So maybe by cigarettes give plus two int, it means only one of them is used to temporarily fading away? I don't know, something is not working as intended. Hello, officer. What brings you up here again? Uh, I'm gonna fail another check, actually. Just like the last time. Light brown eyes look back at you. All is as it was. You feel cigarette fumes rise from her lips. She's just as beautiful. All the same. Dang. Because I don't want to have to rely on the drama. All right. We'll be back. No. No. no, no. I... Ooh. They say... They say... Nameless heroes need no credit. Doing the right thing is reward enough. Deep down, an honorable man knows there will be a reward. Oh yes, the honorable shall inherit the earth, and you, Comte de Honneur, will lead the charge with your thumb held high. Up your bum. What you need is a creed. An oath, a great oath of honor. Flex your honor glands. See if you can come up with something. Are, are you telling me to do kegels? <laughs> Woo. Um, hey, so little observation. It's all cool, man. Don't freak out. But every time you say, I am the law, and you say it a lot, it's basically hello for you. Your jaw does this weird thing. It sh sort of shifts sideways, hanging off your face at a jaunty angle, while the word law sounds oddly guttural and low. It, it, it's strange. You wouldn't notice it, but after saying you're the law 80,000 times, the question does come up. Why do you have law jaw? Nope. Your face looks like it's 58, and your body feels like it's 60. Your mind feels like it's lived for one day or a hundred. Both longer than they ought to be, the day and the century. But for how long, then, has... This thing attached to your sentience walked this planet's crust. Time to start racking those brains of yours, Elder One. When and where were you born? I'm going to think about that one. I might. 
But I get to do that off camera because it's time for the video to end. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.